Hi, I'm Asta Adhikari. I'm an intern for Mobile Power Group at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'll be showing you a demo that is on the Go Gaming and Vital Monitoring platform, featuring Maxim's low power Simo PMIC and sensors. I designed this demo along with Gaurav Mittal, Senior Architect and Application Engineer, Engineering Team from TTS, and Sensor Team of Maxim. We made this reference design to showcase smallest solution size, highest efficiency, and lowest ripple features of our Simo PMIC that matter to you who designed the world's best portable devices. The figure here provides an overview of the demonstrative end-to-end -end reference design. We designed it keeping the current social distancing world in mind. We stayed away from making it a wearable as we wanted it to be something that can be handheld and shown to others. You can do two things with this product, play a classic brick breaker game or check your temperature, heart rate, and blood oxygen level. We chose to showcase the value add we at Maxim bring to the vital monitoring modules since health and fitness have a ubiquitous presence in wearable market. In addition, a pulse oximeter and temperature sensors play key roles in tracking vitals to identify possible COVID-19 symptoms, which makes this demo relevant to the current world. The prototype itself uses the Max Feather board stacked with LCD display along with the sensor board attached to it. The sensor board houses all the vital monitoring components and the LCD display is for user interface and to play the classic brick breaker game. Here is the power tree that shows how the industry best Max 77654 powers all the components in this reference design. Keeping the goal of highlighting our PMIC features in mind, we picked the optical sensor to meet the industry's lowest ripple specification of less than 20 millivolt peak to peak. It is 40% smaller than others completely integrated and uses ultra low power. We also picked the fuel gauge from the mobile power group to demonstrate the PMIX high efficiency. The fuel gauge uses M5EX algorithm and has a low operating current of 7 microamps. We chose the temperature sensor due to its clinical grade temperature measurement accuracy and highest signal to noise ratio of 100 dB. All of these components along with the LCD display and accelerometer are powered by our single low power SIMO PMIX. This feature-rich PMIC delivers this performance while shrinking your total form factor by 50% and extending your battery life by 20%. These are the part numbers for all the parts used in this reference design. Please check our technical support website for more information on the reference design. Without further ado, here is a sneak peek of the prototype. This is my demo board. It's powered by a USB. We start by resetting the board and we start at the home page where you can see the Maxim logo displayed. If you pick any buttons, it takes you to the menu page where you can decide to play a game or check your vitals. In my case, I'm gonna pick button B to play the game itself. Once you do that, it displays the rules, which is move the paddles left and right using the two buttons to continue. And once I press continue, I can see the game and you can move the paddles left and right to play the game itself. And hopefully you try not to lose. And that is all I have for the game. Uh, please note that I chose the game option, but you can always choose the vital options to check your heart rate or your oxygen saturation level. If you're working on the next generation GPS tracker or AI assistant or vital monitoring or any portable devices that uses low power, then make sure you visit our website to discover our paradigm shifting portfolio. We offer a vi wide range of products to cater to your needs. In addition, if you're interested, you can also join our series of webinars where Gaurav and I will be presenting to you more about this topic. Thank you and please keep in touch.